Happy Christmas Eve's Eve Eve. We're really getting down to the wire here. I'm Stella Chung, and on today's Entertainment Fix, Vin Diesel's former assistant is suing the Fast and Furious star for sexual battery. In lighter news, Marvel announced a comic that bridges the gap between X-Men the Animated Series and its upcoming Disney Plus continuation, X-Men 97. And fans are outraged the Oscars Best Original Song nominations snubbed Jack Black's breakout hit, Peaches, from the Mario movie. Let's-a go! <laughs> Vanity Fair broke the story that a former assistant to Vin Diesel by the name of Asta Jonasson has filed a lawsuit against the actor accusing him of sexual battery, discrimination, wrongful termination, and numerous other claims. Jonathan worked for Diesel's company One Race in 2010. Her job responsibilities included accompanying the actor to parties and organizing events, but her tenure was cut short after Diesel allegedly made unwanted advances, including groping her and pinning her down. Another One Race employee is also accused of similar behavior. Jonathan was fired shortly after these events took place. Why didn't this get brought up sooner? Well, at the time of employment, Jonathan signed a non-disclosure agreement that prevented her from reporting the incident. However, this year, California's Speak Out Act passed, which grants exemptions from NDAs in cases of sexual abuse that occurred in 2009 or later. Vin Diesel has not yet spoken publicly about the allegations, but IGN has reached out to his representatives for comment. We'll keep you posted on the story as it develops. One of the most anticipated new additions to the MCU is the upcoming Disney Plus series, X-Men 97, though new is debatable as it's picking up where the beloved Fox Kids show, X-Men the Animated Series, left off when it went off the air in 1997. How direct of a continuation it'll actually be remains to be seen, but it seems like there'll be some gaps to fill in, and that's exactly what the upcoming X-Men 97 comic series aims to do. Written by Steve Fox and drawn by Salva Espin, the first issue will be released on March 27th, 2024. There's no word on when the X-Men 97 animated series will premiere, so hopefully the comics release hints that we'll be seeing it sooner than later. The comic will tease new revelations about returning characters like Wolverine, Storm, and Jubilee. My first question is whether or not we're going to get some context for Storm's new mohawk. In the comics, she first did that around the time she lost her powers at the hands of her on-and-off lover, Forge, and became leader of the Morlocks after beating Callisto in a night fight. Look, I get it, girl. We've all been there. Most of us just try to pull off bangs, but, you know, you do you. It's a bit extreme. I just dye my hair. Hey, if you're looking for something that'll make you even more mad than what IGN did or didn't give rewards to in our Best of 2023 roundup, here's some bullshit. The Academy Awards Best Original Song nominees flat out snubbed Jack Black's rendition of Peaches in the Super Mario Brothers movie. It wasn't a huge surprise that the Mario movie was a hit, but I don't think many of us expected Peaches to blow up like it did. Bowser's soulful lamentation about his unrequited love of Princess Peach landed on the Billboard Top 100 and stayed there for five solid weeks. Jack Black's musical accomplishments speak for themselves, or inward, sing for themselves, rather. His work as one half of the musical duo Tenacious D has earned them a couple Grammy nods, winning Best Metal Song in 2015 for their cover of Dio's The Last in Line. As for this year's Oscar, if the other nominees were entirely serious musical performances, I might get it. But three of the songs from Barbie were nominated for, as well as Becky G's The Fire Inside from Slam It Hot. You know, the biopic of the guy who made Cheetos red and spicy instead of just orange and salty. Not to say they don't deserve some recognition, but I mean, come on, Peaches slaps. I'll make you mine. Anyway, that is your fix of entertainment news for Friday, December 22nd. From everybody here at IGN, we hope you have safe and happy holidays with limited family drama and as much rest and relaxation as possible. I would say maybe some eggnog, but I think eggnog is disgusting. But enjoy some Die Hard. Merry Fixmas to all and to all a good night. You be kind, mother